Hi everybody, I am Dr. Ashutosh Kumar, Clinical Director of Cardiac Electrophysiology and working at Care Hospital Hyderabad. Uh, today uh, we will be discussing regarding the electrophysiology. So uh, electrophysiology is basically a division of cardiology in which we check or we are evaluating the patient's electrical abnormalities. Let us know how heart works. So heart is having the pumping function and it is endowed with the one important thing that it is having its own electrical activity. The electrical activity start very early in the life, we can say intrauterine life and it works throughout the life. So whatever the pumping is happening by the heart which pumps the blood all over the body and maintain the circulation of the body, the electricity is the main backbone. And this electrical activity we check or we evaluate in the electrophysiology study. So what is the way how we can be knowing that the patient is having electrical abnormality? The first and the foremost, the most non-invasive procedure available all over the world and most of the center is ECG. So ECG provides the information how the electrical activity of the heart is going on. So it provides the, how the chamber size is, how the current is flowing from the upper and lower chamber, any electrical abnormality in the form of first degree, second degree block is happening or not. Any extra electrical activity is happening, we call as the ectopic beats are coming or if the patient is having palpitation, whether the ECG is showing any arrhythmia or not. So we'll go later on on the arrhythmia, but any arrhythmia will be best detected during the ECG. ECG gives the, the picture how the heart electrical activity is ongoing. But this is the snapshot of the electrical activity. Sometimes we can evaluate the patient electrical activity over one day like a halter, two to four days to seven days in the loop recorders. And now we are having the facility that we can check the electrical activity by the cloud connected uh, software, which can check up to three years. We call it ILR the invasive loop recorder, implantable loop recorder. So these are loop recorders which are implanted under the skin around the chest and it, it takes all the information over the next three years. So this is regarding the electrical activity which can be checked in a non-invasive way. But sometime in a particular situation when we are in the doubt or the patient is having some electrical abnormality which we have to check uh, invasively, we do some study we call as an electrophysiology study. And these electrophysiology studies, we are uh, keeping the wires inside the heart and we are checking how the electrical flow is happening, whether it is a normal or abnormal. And sometime we have to do the uh, what you call uh, uh, protocols in which the arrhythmia we are going to bring means we are bringing back the same palpitation related complaints during the EP study and try to trace from where it is coming. So this is all about the arrhythmia and special patients are only being advised for EP study. When we are having something which we get in the ECG or the patient is having some complaints which demands EP study, then only we are going to do the EP study. It is not a routine procedure in the selected condition by the electrophysiologist, they will indicate that you are needing EP study to as a diagnostic tool and sometimes as a therapeutic tool because RF and, uh, ablation, radio frequency ablation, we do when the patient is having some arrhythmia substrate and there it may be curative. So thank you so much. Uh, we will come next time with some important topic. Namaste.